Hello everybody, this is X Forever, and welcome to the third episode of the series Let's Make a PID Loop. In the last episode, we just did our nasty math, figuring out the conversion between uh, inches and the um, ticks readings on our robots, and right now we are ready to dive into how to actually set up the most important part of PID loop, which is the inti uh, excuse me proportion I kept doing PID velocity so I kept thinking it's integral it's actually PID base uh, excuse me PID base control which in, in this case is the target control the um, is the target the PID control the most important part is proportion so the proportion uh, I'm just gonna show you how it works as it's top to code first for everything uh, uh, for, uh, for first of all we need the constants so let's type float um, Let's call it KP. Usually, the constants in PID loop they are designated as K. Uh, so KP means the constant of uh, proportion, and we use this constant to actually tweak it around to scale up or down to increase the speed or to decrease the speed or to increase the speed to decrease the accuracy or to increase the accuracy of oscillation. So we do not know how much that is. I'm just going to assume it's somewhere about 0 0.2. For instance, I'm just going to put 0 0.2 like that. And then, uh, as time goes, we're going to we are going to add on the other two constants. So right now, we're just going to deal with p. So, uh, very important. Uh, the most important part, essentially, what the proportion is, is the error. And uh, let's set up error first. So let's do integer error. Uh, we don't need to initialize that. So this this integer error. And uh, personally, what I like to do is that I like to actually have a separate uh, uh, um, I want to actually have a separate variable I always do things with variables so, so I, I can just understand it better so I'm going to make a separate variable float I'm going to make a separate variable that's actually this integer is good that is called proportion all right I think we are good right now so the uh, in uh, the uh, Variable part is good, so we're going to dive right in. First, we need to calculate the error of it. And uh, what is the formula of the error? What, well, I mean, what is error actually? In PID, in PID programming, or any sort of PID stuff, error is your target minus your current, your current value. Usually, you can think in terms of this way. Usually, your target, let's say that you want to hit 10. Right now, you are at zero because everything starts at zero. Because before we even start, and excuse me for forgetting to do this, before we start, we always want to uh, we always want to initialize both of the encoders. We want to set the both encoders to zero. So let's go in motor encoder left base, left base equals to zero. Let's copy and paste that, and let's change the command. Right base. So we just initialize the um, uh, the encoders, the sensors. Uh, so what is error? We ju we're just talking about, for instance, if your target is ten, and right now you just initialize them, the robot is still. The what would be, what would the error be? Your error would be ten minus your current position, which is ten minus zero, which is ten. You have a big error, and you want to eliminate that error. That's the whole point of the PID control. You want to eliminate that error. Another example would be, for instance, your um, target is 10, and your current position is 5. What In this case, what would your error be? Your error would still be your target minus your current value, which would be 10 minus 5, which is 5. So let's do this. So error equals to target, which means that I'm referring to this uh, parameter I just set up right here, which is what you basically, which is what you put into the uh, brackets when you are using this command. Error equals target minus the, uh, we need the target, uh, the error equals the target minus the sensor values. In this case is the sum of the two sides. Let's do this. Sum of the two sides. Let's go parentheses. 
and don't forget about your semicolon plus that all right that looks good and um, you might be, still be kind of confused about what do we need to do with this actually uh, right now for the target we know that this is a tick reading we know that this is a tick rating. So in order for the error to make sense, this target also has to be in tick rating, which means that right now if you want to use this loop, you're doing you're essentially gonna try to put in uh, I mean in this bracket you, you, in the parentheses when you're trying to use this command for target you need to put in something that com uh, that is uh, compatible with the resolution or the uh, or the units of ticks, which means probably you're gonna right here you're gonna put something in around 2000 or 1000 like that that would make sense however we don't want to uh, guess that we just talked about that in the last episode so we want to right here we want to put into a value of a inch value we want to say we, we, we wanted to move forward uh, 10 inches rather than a thousand counts I think I got it right I got it right so <laughs> yeah so what we're gonna do is that we're going to use this user function Copy. Let's paste it right here. Essentially, we are trying. We are right now. We are dumbing things down. We are putting into a target value that is in inch. We are using this uh, user function we just set up in the last episode to to convert this inch value into a whole number integer, into a whole number integer. Um, t uh, t uh, uh, excuse me text reading value that the computer can actually read. So this error will be in a text uh, unit, which will be very precise because we have two encoders and uh, for every in uh, for, for every revolution, it's, it's actually pretty long. All right, so let's, this is our error. And essentially, our proportion is just error. Our proportion is just error, but it is a error scaled up or down because uh, I mean, your motor controls there. I mean, the motor control values they are different in every system. The errors or the sensor resolutions are different in every system, so you probably need to scale up or down. Usually, the reason I put like a very small value smaller than one uh, we, uh, is usually because in uh, VEX robotics we know that the motor control values are ranging from zero to one to seven. However, the ticks, the, uh, the I'm, uh, I mean, the ticks reading they are very high. Uh, Actually, I mean that they have a very high resolution, so that we actually need to scale down this error reading so that it's compatible with the um, motor output. So let's do proportion. Proportion equals to KP multiply error. And there you go. That is how you calculate your proportion. Sounds pretty simple, huh? And uh, finally, what we do is that we want to send the uh, excuse me. Let, let's just final. Let's, let's just set up the final value. Let's go integer. Um, let's call it power. The final power. The final power. It actually technically it should be the compilation or the addition of all three of the controls, which is proportion, integral, and derivative. You should add all of the three of them to get final power, uh, and then give this final power to the motors, but we will just set it, set it up in this episode so that I can actually show you what's actually going on. So final, final power is equal to uh, proportion, proportion. Actually, it really should be proportion plus uh, derivative plus integral. This is what it really should be, but we are going to set up derivative and integral in some later episodes. So right now, we're just going to leave it the way it is, find the power equals the proportion. And finally, we in this loop, we want to give the motor value to the, uh, the, the correct find the power value to the motor. So which means that this thing is going to come into play. So let's go move base. Move, excuse me. Move base. Base. Final power. 
And there you go. That is your basic structure of a proportion control loop in a very neatly written way. Uh, so the way you use, uh, uh, excuse me, right now, because uh, this is an infinite while loop uh, with a kind of decent updating rate, because it's an infinite while loop, the way you use it is that you put it in task main and you type PID base control target for instance we want to move forward 12 inches 12 if you do this and you run the program if you load this entire thing to the robot what it's going to do is that it's going the robot is going to go uh, if you tweak the constants correctly or and if you set up these correctly so that the speed um I mean the sign be uh, signs be before the speeds are correct so that 1 to 7 will actually make the robot move forward what you will see is that and 0 0.2 I think is a very big constant so what you will see is that the robot will start going forward all the way to the uh, about a foot and then you will see the robot start glitching around that area infinitely that is what you should see right now so later we are going to add uh, integral and derivative to eliminate that glitch to make the movement quick and precise and efficient and we are going to add a condition to the while loop a timing condition that actually lets the robot exit the loop and stop the movement to move on to the next movement as you wish alright so that's how to do proportion and this is Martin Malfax forever and I will see you in the next video